What up, world? It is Friday, March 23rd. About to see Squanto and Boogie T. Seven o'clock. About to hit the city right now. Homie Nick in the cut. We're about to get it. 7.35, sitting in traffic. We're about five minutes away from the venue. Gonna find parking and then we're gonna finesse the line and fuck Kocheck and go right in. Okay. Trying to be in there before eight o'clock. That's the goal. Finesse gang. Finesse gang, you already know. All right, we'll see you guys at Highline Ballroom. Still eight o'clock online. Highline Ballroom, no sir. 8.05, we're in here. Profit. Make some fucking noise for my big brother in partner in crime, Boogie T, yo. He is awesome. My name is Squanto, I am the Bass Dragon. I have a question for y'all. Who's ready to get fucked up on bass tonight? Let's do this.
that is all I have for you guys today. Sorry for the lack of after party video. It was actually way more fun than it looked, which is why I didn't take any video. So the Boogie T and Squanto Strike Back Tour, really dope experience. I approve. If you're fans of either of them, I would totally go. Highline Ballroom, I fuck with the venue. Little on the smaller side, but the lines were quick. Security was super late and the walls light up on the side. I don't know if you peeped that in the video, but it was. I thought that was super sick that the walls lit up on the side and just kind of keeps you immersed in the whole experience. The tour itself, Mega Chop Cam, super dope. The fact that you can see all the waveforms, what song he's using, you really can't appreciate what he's doing up there unless you can see it. And that just makes it so much sicker. The one thing I was a little disappointed about was the production. I'm not sure if that's on Squanto's end or on Highline's end, but he made a, an Instagram post about how everything was handpicked. Every beat was gonna be perfectly cued to every light and it was gonna be this whole big thing that he was working on. And I didn't really see anything crazy out of the ordinary. Like it was, the production was definitely there. It was all good, but I was expecting more just because of that post. That was my only complaint. But if you're fans, definitely gotta check it out. Super dope experience. And uh, yeah, Mega Chop, super sick. That is all I have for you guys today. I'm the Festival Finesser. Thank you for watching. You know, it's always appreciated. Thank you to all you guys who saw me. Uh, there was only like two of you, but the people that came up to me and said, yo, you make YouTube videos, what's good? I've seen you. Thank you. I live for that shit. If you're watching now, I'm going to KZO next week. We're doing a vlog. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. If you see me there, if you're watching this video, please say what's up, cause it makes me feel good that my videos are getting out there and people are fucking with me and you know, I'm trying to make friends, you know what I'm saying? We're all gonna be in the same events at the same time, in the same place. Why not know who we're partying with? Until next time, I'm the Festival Finesser. See you guys for the next one. I appreciate you. You loyal. I changed a lot.